Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I'm going to address the issue of undervolting your CPU and your laptop due to thermal issues, and how much will this save you, uh, and how do you do it uh, without, uh, you know, opening up your laptop and maybe repasting uh, the thermal paste that's in your laptop. Uh, you do have a another way of doing this. Uh, and uh, that is through XTU or uh, Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility. So looking at this right now, you can see our package temperatures here. That's for our CPU. Uh, our average, our recent uh, maximum was 66 degrees. Uh, so I don't particularly have a problem on my laptop. This is a Predator Helios 300. Uh, by Acer. I don't have a particular problem with my uh, laptop overheating, but there are some people that are saying that they do. Uh, the thing that we're going to be changing today is the core voltage offset. Uh, now, with this core voltage offset, you're going to want it to be a negative number, but we'll get into that a little bit later. The first thing that I do want to go over is that by doing this, uh, and we have a built-in stress test here on the left-hand side that we'll be using, uh, by doing this in hopes that by undervolting, you will actually reduce the temperature. So what we'll do is we'll do a five minute stress test here. Uh, again, uh, our recent uh, maximum looks to be 72 degrees as the recent maximum. Uh, but we're gonna see how high we can push this. Uh, well, let's see how high we can get this to go in our uh, stock settings uh, with a stress test just for five minutes to see what we're going to do. Now, obviously during gaming, you're going to be doing a lot more than five minutes, but we're going to push it and see what undervolting will actually do uh, and what kind of benefits um, we will get from that. So I'm going to run a five minute stress test and I will fast forward through this and then I will come back uh, and we'll see what our maximum temperature was during that five minute stress test. Okay, so now our stress test is done. We'll take a look at our package temperature again, which is our CPU temperature. It looks like it got to a maximum of 77 degrees Celsius during our five minute stress test. And again, obviously this isn't going to be a total indication of what benefits you're gonna get here from just doing a five minute test. Uh, obviously when you're gaming, you're gonna be gaming for an hour or two hours or three hours or whatever. Uh, but that would just be huge on the video. So we're just gonna give it uh, a benefit of just doing this. So I'm gonna clear this out. I'm gonna close XTU uh, so that we can get this set up again with our uh, recent temperatures. And we'll go back in and we'll relaunch this. Okay, so uh, current maximum is 69 degrees at this point. Uh, obviously, it's still recovering from the stress test, but that's okay. Let us go to core now. Uh, and the core, the only thing that you're going to have to worry about is core voltage offset. And we are going to set this to a negative number to undervolt. So what I've been able to do by testing is I've been able to stabilize this at 100, oh, sorry, 0 0.110 volts or uh, 110 millivolts negative. So then what you're gonna wanna do is apply that. Uh, if you go over this, uh, it will lock up and reboot your computer and then reset everything back to zero. Uh, so you can't hurt anything by doing this. So this is uh, uh, negative uh, 110 millivolts. And again, our recent maximum is 69 degrees. So what we wanna do now that it's applied is we wanna run another CPU stress test for five minutes and see if there's a temperature difference. So I will do that real quickly and then you guys will be able to uh, see the difference between the temperatures after the five minute stress test. So I'll fast forward through this and you guys can check that out. So 
So our second test has now completed and what we're going to want to look for is any uh, changes in maximum here. So we'll go down to package temperature and you can see our a recent maximum now is down from 77 degrees Celsius to 72 degrees Celsius. So we actually lowered our temperature by five degrees just by undervolting the CPU uh, at that negative 110. So you might say, okay, that's only five degrees, but somebody that's playing in the high 80s or 85 degrees and wants to get it down to 80 degrees or under, uh, or is even up in the 90s and can get it down into the 80s, that's gonna save you big. So that's actually a pretty good thing. Uh, you can save profiles on this as well. So you can save your profile if you want. The cool thing about XTU or Extreme Tuning Utility is that once you apply the settings, even if you close and uh, reboot, it will maintain the change that we made. So if I set this back to default, which I will do because I don't really have any uh, thermal issues with mine and I'll apply it, um, and I re reboot my computer, it will stay at whatever I last set it in Extreme Tuning Utility. So that's actually pretty cool and it's a good thing. Uh, I, I am impressed that, uh, by this Intel um, app here that they did a really good job on that, being able to retain your settings after you're done with them. Uh, so it's kind of a set it and forget it type thing. If you know that you want to undervolt because it runs kind of hot, then you undervolt, you set it, once you apply it, uh, and even when you reboot, it will come back up still with those settings. So that's awesome. Uh, you can monitor your battery here. You have some advanced options. Uh, as well that you can go over in XTU. Um, you can uh, change your max step size. So if I want to change my voltage in increments of tens or, or millivolts as in increments of tens, I can change that to 10, but I'll just leave it at five. Uh, so uh, with the built-in stress test as well, it's, it's helpful to kind of get an idea. You can set this, you know, minutes, hours, even days uh, to run so that you can figure out exactly uh, what you uh, are doing with your CPU and whether it's a benefit or not. You can run ben benchmarks on this that'll also record highest CPU temperature and you can compare them online as well. So let me know in the comments below if you have a laptop that overheats. Um, also let me know if this helped you in any way. Uh, again, my laptop doesn't really have any problems with thermals or pasting, but I still saved or lowered my temperature by five degrees Celsius just by um, actually undervolting this particular uh, i7-7700HQ. So that's the mark if you have that particular um, processor to use is negative 110 millivolts. So that's what you're gonna want to shoot for. I tried 120 and it locked up and rebooted and just reset me to default. Uh, so 110 seems to be the stable undervolt for the i 7700HQ. Again, leave me comments in the comment section below. Uh, let me know how it worked out for you. Let me know if you uh, lowered your temperatures by just doing this. As again, this is something that you can do with this application. You don't have to, um, you know, repaste your GPU and your CPU and rip apart your laptop to do anything. Uh, again, your mileage may vary. I've heard of people getting 10 or 15 degrees lower by undervolting their processor. Um, I didn't see obviously that much, uh, but we only did a five minute test as well. So, uh, you know, your mileage is gonna vary based on your laptop model, its fans, uh, how well it was pasted, and all of those other things uh, as well. So again, leave me comments. Let me know if this helped you out. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. Uh, if you guys haven't liked yet, please do so. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that because it always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.